right guys thank you very much for tuning in um this is what's spinning um it's a wee kind of side set of videos next to the the albums that made me the albums that made me are big massive pre-planned multi-scripted projects whereas this is more of kind of off the cuff let's just talk about some cool music that i've been listening to throughout the course of the month um, i'm hoping to get these out kind of like early every month every month you know, like the first tuesday um, and we'll just talk about a few um, albums and releases that I thought were really really cool in the month prior. Um, they won't always necessarily be albums that were released then but the but new releases will feature um, but it's just generally a, a chance to talk about some awesome music I've been listening to right now and the commonality between all of them is that they are all awesome and you should definitely give them a listen as well. first album was actually released in July uh, this year and it is Agriculture by Agriculture. Um, some absolutely fantastic um, ecstatic black metal from LA. Um, this four piece are absolutely brilliant. Um, I remember discovering them on Bandcamp through their track um, The Glory of the Ocean and um, it is just super fast, super intricate, um, really emotive and really really enthralling. Um, if you if you like your black metal kind of high speed and experimental definitely give them a listen and um, check them out on their band camp that's um, Agriculture by Agriculture. Super super good. Next up is the absolutely wonderfully titled Dawn Raid. Um, this UK three piece um, specialises in some thundering anti-fascist black metal and um, I, I loved it upon hearing it pretty much immediately. Um, the some of the some of it is like really experimental, really really fast and high speed. Some of it is quite um, traditional, and you almost expect the band to be singing about things like dungeons and forests and Satan. But well, the lyrics are like uncompromising social commentary. Um, there's actually a wee bit of almost like um, Irish rebel music in some of it as well, and a couple of like the more acoustic lead tracks, but no, no, this is, this is proper, proper good. Um, it was released in uh, March uh, this year, but I just discovered it this month, but yeah, Dawn Raid, um, To Know The Light is such, such a good album. Highly, highly, highly recommended. The next album is a digital only release uh, through Bandcamp, so it's uh, Mizunia by Yui Onodera, hope I pronounced that correctly, um, a, a drone and ambient artist from Japan. Um, it was released in uh, August this year, but it was actually made up of recordings from 2021 and 2022. Um, it is fantastic kind of naturalistic soundscapes and smothering drone ambience. Um, if you're looking for something just to kind of put your biggest headphones on and just totally get lost in, this is an absolutely fantastic album to listen to. It's also got really, really, um, really intriguing album art done by Kiko Matsura. Um, really, really fantastic. Um, if you want to give this guy um, a look, you can find him on Bandcamp. But also check out critical-path.info if you want to look more into him. Very, very recommended if you're into a slightly more experimental ambience or drone music. Another additional only release that I would absolutely kill to have it on vinyl, um, Hagakuri 2 by Bloody Tyrant. Um, this is actually a follow-up to the band's 2020 release, Myth of the Islands. They are a um, folk metal uh, four-piece from Taiwan in a really, really similar vein to Chthonic. Um, there, are, there are aspects of black metal and melodic death metal. Um, there's also some kind of, um, the only way I can describe it is like American punk vocals in some of the clean passages. I know that sounds terrible, but it's actually really, really good. Uh, but these guys are really thundering. They're really victorious. Um, everything about them just absolutely slays. And yeah, you should absolutely check them out. Check out their whole back catalog. But if you've only got time for one thing, check out Hagakuri 2. Really, really good. It's about to get heavy around these parts because we're talking about Oak's fantastic disintegrate. Absolutely majestic two-piece from Portugal who deal in absolutely fantastic long-form layered and sumptuous doom. Um, the, this seized me immediately upon listening and it hasn't let go since I started listening to it. Um, it's a massive 45 minute single track and um, it is inventive and it is raw and it is so so heavy as well but like um it knows when to pull back from the heaviness to kind of introduce a bit of lightness or a bit of atmosphere before coming back in with the crushing guitars again so um so yeah if you like your doom heavy and you like it long then um yeah disintegrate by oak such such a good album definitely give it a listen
next up is uh, Black Shape by Black Shape. Um, I don't have the vinyl here right now, but I have it on pre-order from Bandcamp. Can't wait for it to arrive. Um, uh, the, these guys deal in massive, astral, progressive, uh, instrumental post-mathcore, they describe themselves like. Um, it's a bit of post-rock, a bit of progressive, a um, wee bit of mathcore in there as well. Um, it's, it's really, really amazing. It's almost like um, a single track split over um, multiple tracks. Um, it kind of culminates in um, the, the kind of centerpiece of the album, which um, the title, and this the title is I-T-I-I-I-T-I-A-T-I-I H-Y-L-I-H-Y-L um, which is also the lead single from the album as well and I actually saw the lead single first of all um, with the really really striking end of the world kind of imagery and these really really um, massive emotive female vocals which kick in midway through. As soon as I heard it I was like oh my god I have to hear the album as well and the album was almost like a, um, a single kind of suite of music focused around this one individual track um, it's just so so good um, I can't wait to see where these guys go further and as I said I've got the album on pre-order hopefully arriving soon um, absolutely check out their band camp so that's it Black Shake by Black Shake really 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 good check them out an album that released last month was the absolutely fantastic ontological mysterium by the mighty horrendous um, i've been looking forward to this album for a really long time since they announced it i was a massive fan of the the, the band's last album idol and this this continues the trend of them being just absolutely batshit crazy and absolutely amazing um it is surprisingly melodic uh, progressive tech death from pennsylvania and um, the, the four piece like everything's turned up to 11 here the inventiveness the speeds the ferocity um the the, the crazy ideas and kind of left hand pass that they take as well um i kind of struggle with death metal death metal is like a genre that i struggle to really really engage with sometimes um releases need to be really really good or really really like um genre defining for me to go oh that's quite interested and horrendous repeatedly do that they repeatedly kick it out of the park with every single release um particularly Damien Herring's vocals like I love them they're somewhere between death growls and kind of thrash kind of shrieks and um, it's really really cool and um, Jamie Knox's drums are absolutely phenomenal and really 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 inventive and then you've got Matt Knox and Alex Kulix on guitars like everything about this is just absolutely amazing it's equal parts death equal parts rush equal parts some of the most batshit bands you've ever heard um, if you like your death metal really amazing really fun really really engaging and also really inventive then absolutely check out ontological mysterium by horrendous you will not regret it and an album that has been on total repeat since it released in july probably surprising no one is black braid 2 by the mighty black braid it kind of feels right now like everyone and their granny um is talking about black braid and absolutely uh, deservedly so um, it is fantastic indigenous black metal from the wilds of Adirondack, I want to say. I, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, really, really amazing. Um, j just, feel, just so full of energy. Like sometimes some black metal can feel quite tired. It can feel like, oh, we've been here before. But everything Black Braid puts their hand to is just so relentlessly amazing. It, it genuinely wants to make you put your foot up in the monitor and just kind of windmill along with everything that's playing. It's just so, so good. Um, but yeah, Black Braid 2. Um, I don't think I could add anything else to the discourse around this album and this band anyway. So um, go check out Black Braid 2 if you haven't already. A wee honourable mention um, as well before we get into my playlist pick of the month. Um, it's All My Friends Are Going to Hell by Reverend Christian Michael Hater. Um, you may know her better as Lingua Ignota. Um, I am an enormous fan of everything Christian puts her name to. Um, she's just so, so good. Um, the raw emotion and the sheer spectrum of ideas that she puts into her music is always really engaging. Um, I really, really loved um, Sinner Get Ready. Um, such, such a good album. Maybe not quite as brutal and as noisy as Caligula, which is my favourite album by her, but it was really, really good and like, oh, it's such a rewarding listen all the way through. And this track kind of plows a similar furrow to Sinner Get Ready. It's maybe um, more stripped back and more kind of focused on that kind of all country alt folk kind of dark folk kind of vibe but yeah this is this is really really amazing uh, the album saved is coming out in october and um, i've got it on pre-order already i cannot wait to hear more from Kristen. such such a good listen but if you're looking for a, a track to listen to that's maybe a bit diverting something a bit different check out all my friends are going to hell on bandcamp
My pick of August, as in the thing that I've been listening to the most in August, is Prosaic by the mighty Ms. Moore. I uh, cannot say enough good things about um, this album or Ms. Moore in general. Um, I am an enormous Ms. Moore fan. I love everything that ALN puts his name to. Um, I, I just find his music so utterly diverting and engaging and enthralling and, and this continues that trend uh, fantastically. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic bit um, of Black and Doom. Um, it is harrowing, it's raw, um, it's really immersive. I, I just absolutely love it. Um, I can't say enough good things about Mismore as you're probably telling. Um, I'm struggling to put words to um, how good it is. It's stellar in every sense of the word. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something really, really good, really engaging and really heavy as well, then please absolutely check out Prosaic by Ms. Moore. Such, such a good album. Girls being, girls being, girls being, girls go through. Shake them out. Thank you, Meat Grinder. Tip your waitress. I'm friends with her dad. 